All right, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a video where I, why am I losing my balance on, I'm not even moving. Where I, uh, you know, I'm skateboarding and I talk about stuff and I try to learn new tricks. I'm trying to get better at front side nose slides. I'm going to be talking about how to film YouTube videos by yourself without a filmer, which is what I'm gonna be doing today. Let's get started with warming up. I just did legs today, so, or not today, I did legs yesterday, so don't judge me if I can't pop things correctly. Mmm, uh. delicious. Oh, there we go. Oh, I like that. No speed at all, but it's okay because I still landed it. Gosh. Oh my goodness, I was barely on there. Better, better. <laughs> That's pretty good. If I land a tray flip right here, you gotta you gotta subscribe. Do oh. you think I can do a shove it out of this? Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Oh. Ah. Alright, right here. That's not what I wanted. Ah. Oh, there we go. Oh, and that was it. We landed again. Oh, slippy. Oh, there we go. Okay, on to the topic of this video. The trick I've been wanting to learn, how to film yourself on YouTube. Ah, gosh, this is not gonna be fun. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been wanting to start a YouTube channel. Surprisingly large amount of the population wants to be a YouTuber, but most people don't even start. And my theory is most people just don't have any friends, which is also me. And since you don't have any friends, you don't have anyone to film you. If you don't have any anyone to film you, then there's no YouTube video because there's no filming. But there's ways around that. Starting with the first thing you need, which is a tripod. Well, besides the camera, obviously. If you don't have a tripod, you're just gonna end up propping up your camera on the ground or on a rock or something. And if it's as hot as it is here, then your camera's just gonna freaking melt because the ground's super hot. Tripod's very important. Ew. Dude, I freaking touched my hand on the ledge once. Okay, I can't tell if you can see that, but it's disgusting. The second thing you want to get is a microphone. There's specific microphones that you want to get if you're filming by yourself. Ah. Like if you're going to be far away from the camera, you want a wireless microphone. And there's plenty of them. My personal favorite is the one I'm using now, which is a Rode mic, and it's, it's, uh, it's the package that comes with two transmitters and one receiver, so you can even do uh, like, you know, friend and then you talking, and it all goes into the same place, which is pretty great. And I've gotten a lot of funny clips that way. If you're just gonna be like up close to the camera, you know, talking or whatever, you probably don't need a wireless microphone. You could probably just get a, what is it called, lavalier mic or whatever, cavalier mic. Um, it's basically what I have connected to the transmitter of this microphone and it's, you know, it's like the wire thing that goes all the way up through my shirt and connected to the top of my shirt. You can connect one of these straight to your camera. It's like six feet long and you can just connect it to you and then you have good audio. Also pretty inexpensive because if you don't have like, you know, 100, 200 bucks for a microphone, you just get a lavalier mic and you're, you know, you're, you're good. Ah. Oh, there we go. Making me go the rest of the way. Ow, the grass is so hot. Ow, 
goodness. I feel like I just turned British right there for a second. Oh, ho, ho. that was pretty good. All right, before I forget, the next thing you probably want to get or look into is different lenses because if you're filming by yourself, you're setting the tripod up. And if you're setting the tripod up, you have, you know, that one spot. You know what I mean? Like you're, it's there. And whatever happens before you move it happens. And if you only have one lens, you don't have a very much of a creative freedom to put it wherever you want and have it look good. So you get like a, you know, like a wide angle, a long lens, and then the one that the your camera comes with, which is usually like, a, ow, my kneecap which is like a regular like 18 to 50 or something like that. Oh my goodness, that was kind of garbage. Oh yes. Oh, come on. Thank you for listening to me talk about my opinion on camera gear for solo YouTubing or solo YouTubering or being a solo YouTuber. I'm either gonna go pass out of my car or grab some water, so I will see you guys in the next video. Speaking of next video, it's right here or right there, whichever one you wanna click on. They're both pretty great.